Hello there. Good morning to you all, and welcome to the channel. Today's addiction I have a crazy idea. Zero gold to a WoW token, just how fast can I do it? So get comfy and let's find out. I know I farm a lot, but I must be crazy with this idea. Speed farming. Whatever next. I am only going to use three of my characters for this challenge. My Feral Druid. My Retribution Paladin. And my Blood DK. And the rules and conditions to this challenge are. No sending money from other characters and I must start with zero gold. No transmogs or recipe sales allowed. And I may not sound like it, but I am human and need breaks plus having to deal with the occasional cat aggro. My target is 387,000 gold. I must purchase and use a token for the challenge to be completed in the fastest amount of time possible. As you can see, empty bags and bank, and I only have 5 copper to my name. Let me grab some buffs and we can begin. Farm 1 would of course be the Firelands tiny chest farm. I will only be showing you the end results and any highlights worth mentioning. Only 34 minutes in and I am already full. Using the Ohuna Perch mailbox toy. I will be sending every single transmogs to my disenchanter unless the item is super rare. All recipe goes to my bank character and all lock boxes to my paladin like normal. Farm 1 results. Storing everything in my banks for now, as I need a lot more gold before I can start to place items on the auction house and turn a profit, but all in good time. For now we are moving on to farm number 2 of the day. Farm 2 is new to my daily rotation after some surprisingly good results in testing. Welcome to the Zanga Marsh 8-way multi-farm. Located at the Dead Mire, within Zanga Marsh, in the Burning Crusade. This farm is split into two parts. Part A, anyone can farm. Stick to the center of the area marked and kill all the bog lords and parched hydras mainly for the motes of lifes and plant parts. Part B. Located around the outer edge, can only be done with a skinner to maximize profits, and is totally pointless just to kill for transmogs as this area has a very low drop rate on them. Turn all scraps into knot hide leather, then turn all leather into heavy knot hide leather and sell. Just turn all moats into primal life and simply profit. Even these plant parts have a good sale rate and you will gain a lot from this farm. Please do not throw away gold. Bring a skinner. Same as normal. Mogs to my disenchanter, all reagents goes into the bank. Next is farm 3. Fire lands anyone? I am so bored with this raid it's unreal, but the potential gold profits is too good to pass up and keeps pulling me back in, I need help. As we are on yet another lockout cooldown, might as well go slap some woolly rhinos for one hour. This farm is very profitable and limitless. Here are the details. Located just south of the Amber Lodge, within the Borean Tundra, in Northrend. This is solely a skinner's paradise, so many rhinos, so much leather. Compare the total cost of 5 Borean leathers over 1 heavy Borean leather and sell which is better priced. The longer you stay the more gold you will make overall. The next farm was the Kara Multi Farm. But I lost the footage due to my cat standing on my keyboard and turning my recording software off. But it was only for not hide and fell leather, so you did not miss much. 
After Kara I had to kill more time so I decided to mine for arcane crystals. Then I moved into dragon flight and did some more mining and ended up ice hole fishing in Azure Span. Just one very small problem with this plan. I passed out asleep on my keyboard maybe 20 minutes later and woke up a few hours later with a cat's tail in my mouth. Lovely. So I am now a couple of hours behind schedule and have some catching up to do, no worries at all. This is what I have farmed so far. Next comes the auction house and I will be using trade skill master for this, do not worry, no long boring gaps this time. Yes. Again. Just don't ask. Next farm please. I had a strange feeling all of a sudden to go and mine arcane crystals. So I followed my gut and went to Silithus to mine on my paladin. So glad I did. After just one hour, here are the results. You can't see this but I am grinning here. The optimized 3 minute not hide leather multi farm located inside old Kara. This is a very profitable raid at the moment on my server. The prices for heavy not hide leather is rather tasty to pass up on. All leathers I gained from farm 2 has already sold, so I must have more. Turn all scraps into leather, and then turn all leather into heavy not hide leather and sell. Fell hide also drops here with a price of around 30 to 40 gold each. All good things must come to end. And this is almost the end of day one. Only final thing we must do now is to check profits and see how much of a dent we made to a target. Fingers crossed. I have not checked the mailbox yet, so I am rather excited to see how much profits I made, and how much work have I left myself for tomorrow's farm. You have to admit, that is some nice numbers. Only day one and halfway through this challenge. Let's hope I have another good day tomorrow. Zero gold to a WoW game token, day one done. Thank you so much for watching, please do not forget to like and subscribe, really helps a lot. See you tomorrow for day two, until then, be safe.